Welcome to January's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is to determine if two strings are close. Now, two strings are considered close if you can attain one from the other using the following operations. You can swap two existing characters, uh, or you can transform every occurrence of one existing character into a, another existing character. So what that means is if we had A, A, B, B, we could flip all the A's to B's. Um, now, one thing to note, though, is that we can't just change the character to whatever we want. We have to change it to one that already exists. We have to like swap it with the character that exists inside the string. So at very first glance, this question looks pretty complicated. You might be tempted to do something uh, recursively, write some sort of depth first search. But hold on, step back for a second. <clears throat> There's actually a very simple way to calculate this. Now, they worded it very confusingly. Um, but they give you a hint here where operation one basically allows us to freely reorder the string. So uh, one way we could check to see if we can attain the same is just like to sort it and check to see if the name is, or the string is the same. Uh, but that's going to be a little inefficient. We could do better than that. All we need to do is count up the number of characters and check to see if those are the same. Because if they are, that means we could rearrange this string into the same one. Uh, now the second one is a little bit more complicated, but um, because we're allowed to freely swap characters with one another, basically what that means is the frequencies need to be the same. Uh, so for instance, with uh, this example here, if we count up the frequencies, we can see that we have uh, three A's, two B's, and one C, right? And we can just calculate, okay, well, how many times does three appear? That's one. How many times does two appear? That's one. And how many times does one appear? That's one. And since we know that we could swap the frequencies, all we need to do is flip B and A, uh, and that's going to make that equal to one another. So basically, all we do here is count up the number of characters, check to see if that's the same, and then also count up the number of frequencies and check to see if that's the same. And if that's the same, then then we've, we're done. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a counter object for word one and create a counter object for word two. Now this case takes care of the first operation. Uh, basically we just check to see, all right, does C1 equal C2? And if that's the case, that means we could reorder it in some fashion and word one and word two are going to do the same. But we also need to count up the frequencies because we can swap uh, uh, all the characters to another character, right? So to do that, what I'll do is move through all the values in uh, 4v in c1.values. And we'll do the same here for n2. Uh, but this has to be a counter object. So this here, uh, I'll print it out just so we can see what's going on. So two and one and two. Uh, basically, the second operation we'll have to check, okay, is n1 equal to n2. So this would work in most cases, and we can see what it looks like. Oh, uh, counter object. All right. Forget these syntax errors. Okay, so you can see with this counter object, it's the same, right? Uh, we have 1a, 1b, 1c, so this already equals the same. And the counter object here will show that, okay, one frequency appears three times. So if that's the same too, then that means, uh, or if that's the same, if either one's the same, that means the strings are close. But say that we have something like this, xxu and aab. Well, this actually wouldn't uh, return uh, this would return true according to our algorithm, but it's actually a false, right? Because these characters don't exist in this character. So we can swap all we want, but that's never going to work. Uh, so we got to make sure that all the characters exist inside of each one another. So uh, just to do that, we just say create a set of word one. Uh, make sure that's equal to set of word two. And we are going to make it, make it that an and. And we're going to make this parenthesis here because it's only when the frequencies are the same that that actually matters. Um, 
if the counts aren't the same, then we can just about abandon that immediately, right? So this should work. And I'm going to get rid of this print and let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go, accepted. So this is uh, O of N time complexity, N being the width of both word one and word two. Uh, it does use a lot of memory with these counter objects, but hey, uh, sometimes that's all right. So, okay, thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.